All right, team, here we go. I have no assistance today. So it's just me rolling with the camera. Let's get into it. We can review 7th of January, 2014. Congratulations this week. I'd like to acknowledge some efforts this week that I thought were excellent. On Tuesday, since it was a public holiday, uh, Holly destroyed the workout. Destroyed the workout. Amazing effort. Big props. Should be proud. I'm proud. Wednesday, Sammy. I talked to Sammy about this, but if you didn't know, Sammy is the new man to gun at from the morning class. So all the afternoon boys coming in going, what has Sammy got? I'm going to beat him, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Um, I think that's a cool effort. It's a cool place to be, Sammy. Keep it up. Don't let them get you. They, they make them work as hard as they possibly can before they're going to try and beat you, though. So I know that you, but some of them have got a few years on you, but don't, don't, let, them, don't let them get you. Okay? It's even more fun. Also on Wednesday, congratulations to Ray. Incredible effort to finish Wednesday's workout under the time cap as RX. I just don't know what's like, impossibly hard. I don't, I don't think I could ever do that. I think she did tell me that her heart rate got to 190 BPM, which means she was absolutely working it on that workout. So well done, Ray. Uh, you know, your effort doesn't go unnoticed no matter how many smiles you put in front of them. And then on Friday, Boob threw down a huge effort as well, hitting the workout as RX. 500 reps in that workout in 30 minutes. Again, I can't even fathom being that fit. Like you guys are surpassing me in so many ways, which is always what you want as a coach. But you know what? I'm going to try really hard not to let that happen now that I'm sort of back into a bit of training after having a baby. So watch out. Boop, I'm coming for you. Although I have a feeling he's not going to let me <laughs> do that easily. Then we have to give credit to Jeremy and Addy doing the Hell's Bells comp this weekend down in Bells Beach or Torquay. CrossFit Bells Beach. I went down yesterday, had a look. It was a really well-run comp. Well done to Shannon and Lisa at CrossFit Bells Beach, the good friends of mine. Well done to Jeremy and Addy for representing and moving and being such nice people and such great athletes and and being such a, a what's the correct word? A pinnacle of the community, for sure. Um, very proud and look forward to seeing you be very sore for the rest of the week. <laughs> Speaking of Addie, Addie's leaving in case you didn't know. Uh, she's moving to some other town that nobody cares about. I think it could be Ballarat, but who knows. Um, to do some more study stuff, she'll probably be back. As everyone knows, no one ever leaves the gym. They just go away for a little bit and then come back. So we'll be open to greet you back when you're back here with open arms, of course. Enjoy yourself. Don't be too much of a stranger. Obviously, we'll see you around. Let's say hello to a few people. Let's say hello to Diane, who's coming down to the gym. Uh, she's come down for this week to have a go, and I think she might come down a bit more. Doesn't have to, of course, but uh, I'm very proud, very happy to have you, and very honored to have you trust us with your fitness. I'd like to say welcome to Emma, who's a friend of a friend, friend of Brendan's and Fiona's family, um, coming from Sweden. So... Well done. I've been practicing my Sweden, so hope Swedish. I can, hopefully I can uh, embarrass myself to you when I see you next. Also got our good friend Aaron visiting from Sunshine Coast. He used to train with us for a little while. He's come down for the week, so if you see him, say hi. And then we've got a guest who came in on Saturday, Jai. It was a pleasure to have you, Jai. You moved very well. Very nice to meet you. Uh, hopefully I'll see you again in the future. Of course, you're always welcome. Let's talk about a few other things. Zach's back Thursday. Ray and I are coaching Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So you'll see Zach on Thursday if you miss Zach. Nearly lost my notes. Also have nearly deleted my notes. Ooh, let's talk about our fit day out real quick. The fit day out has sold out, which makes me smile. I sent the kayaking people, because they're the people that, are hold, that have the limitation on how many people we can have. I sent them an email asking, can we have a few more people? And they said, possibly, but we have to run it out of Anglesey. And I said, can't run it out of Anglesey, it's got to be Torquay. And so I'm just waiting to hear back. Um, potentially, we just have to have as many people as we have. 
Uh, and no one else will be able to sign up, unfortunately, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Should have booked it when, it when I had it up. If they do open up some spots, I will let you know as soon as possible. I'd like to maybe mention the reason why I'm doing this is that something that sticks with me quite a lot is that we fail at the margins of our experience. And so I believe that in the pyramid of CrossFit, which kind of matches the pyramid of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, at the top is sport, or in Maslow's case, at the top is self-actualization. If we're not expressing our fitness outside of the gym, then I feel like we're missing. We're leaving something on the table there to be had. You need a, I think everyone needs a sport or needs a way to express their fitness. And this fit day out was an opportunity for me to try and get you to express your fitness in a way that you may not have seen before. And, and that's why I wanted to do it. Also build a bit of community, have some fun, you know, all those type of things. So hopefully it goes off without a hitch. If I get more spots, I'll let you know. If not, then wait till the next one, I'm afraid, and jump on faster. And then finally, I'll mention before I get up, is I am still running and will probably always run until I find a better idea of if you bring down a friend and they sign up, then you get a free month gym training. Cool? Which has a little caveat to it, which I'll tell you in a second. But as I've, I've said before, I'd rather spend, give you the money to advertise for me and then give it to someone else who's just going to take it and spend it on whatever. Some place, I'd rather give it to someone I care about than someone I don't, let's be honest. So if you've got someone in your life that you're keen to bring down, you think they might sign up, do it. If in theory it's your partner, spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, you could bring them down for a month and they could basically just, you, they could have your free month and they could just train for a month too. I mean, it works out all the same either way in that regard. So if you wanted to do that, you're more than welcome. See, if my kids aren't in my frame, my dog is. But that's okay, I love my dog. I love my kids too. So yeah, let me know. I mean, we want to build the family. We want to build the community. And if I can incentivize you somehow, that's what I'm going to do. All right, that's enough from me. I will see you next week. If not, I'll see you at the gym tomorrow for some more training. Zoe Butt. Let's go.